Wet fields and the threat of severe weather Saturday forcing many high school baseball teams in the area to move their quarterfinal games to Sunday. But a few squads to the west were able to finish their series today. To the high school diamond to see who punched their ticket to Sulphur, starting with Acadiana visiting District 4 Barb in game two of their three game series. Bottom fourth, no score. The Bucks bats would get a little hot. Here's Barb Brody Drost leading off the inning and crushing this ball deep out to right. It's gone. That's a solo shot and will put the Bucks on the board first. The team would trade runs late, but three homers by Barb would be the difference as Acadiana falls 3-2. to two. Then in Jeff Davis Parish, we had a rubber match between the Welsh Greyhounds and the Manny Tigers. We're in the first Tigers up 2-1 with two on coach calls for the squeeze. And that is going to bring in the tying run, and we are knotted up at 2-2. And then Walsh went on to take a 3-2 lead heading into the second, and then we see them blow things just out of the water. Not one, but two home runs in the second for the Hounds. First one coming from Landon, Bruce Sarden, and then two batters later, Austin Benoit hits a two-run bomb. This is not a misprint. The Greyhounds scored 18 runs in the second inning alone, and Walsh is heading to the semifinals with a 21-4 victory in five innings. And other scores, starting with Division 4, Opelousas Catholic taking care of Ascension Christian 12-4 to sweep their series. In Division 3, Catholic of New Iberia winning a 12-11 thriller in nine innings to knock out top seed Dunham in only two games. And also Notre Dame dropping both games of their doubleheader versus Calvary today to be eliminated. These are the Acadiana area home games that were moved to Sunday in Division 2. STM will take on E.D. White at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Meanwhile, Crosstown rival Turlings will try to punch their ticket versus St. Charles at 1. In Division 3, Ascension Episcopal will also start at 1, taking on Menard. And in 4A, Bro Bridge will host Pearl River at 2 p.m. The state championships for track and field finishing up in Baton Rouge this afternoon. The Karen Crow boys sweeping the top honors in 4A with the Bears taking the 4A team title and Trajan Jones winning the individual most outstanding player trophy. So 